what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? B. Simone has made a nice bag marketing and promoting herself on social media. She recently sat down with Nick Cannon and talked to him about entrepreneurship. She said, I think that entrepreneurs should date entrepreneurs. She said that she ain't with the nine to five guy. Fans quickly reminded her that she wasn't always papered up. They brought up the fact that not too long ago, she was sleeping in her car. She was homeless. What are y'all thinking? Is B. Simone wrong for having a preference of only dating entrepreneurs? Is she wrong for squeezing the nine to five regular guy? What do you think? Okay, here's what I think. When I first heard about this, I was offended right away. I don't know why, but I was offended. You know, I'm not a nine to five guy, but I was offended. It just reeked of, you know, lifestyles of the rich and famous, the guy with the money, all the money, just dating the guy for some money, right? But after I thought about it, I said, well, let me look at it from her lens, right? She's an entrepreneur and she wants to date entrepreneurs. Her reasoning is that a guy who works in an office, nine to five, can't relate to her, can't relate to her schedule. So let's take a look at that schedule. Let's unpack this thing. So let's say B. Simone stops working around 3, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. or whatever. The guy that works at nine to five, he's in the bed. Perhaps B. Simone is up making noise and he's trying to get some sleep. He's tossing and turning because the light is on or she's walking in and out of the room. Flip that, the other side of that coin, what if he's up and she's trying to get sleep because he has to go to work. Now she's trying to get some sleep. And then they're, they're probably missing each other because the guy with the nine to five has to stick to the same script. And the guy with the nine to five also can't just stop what he's doing and take off and kick it with B. Simone and go to this city or, or, or that country or this event because he has to go to work. He has to actually get permission from his boss. So I can see where that can be conflicting. Now, one could argue that B. Simone probably is doing herself a disservice because there are probably men out there who are good dudes that are working a nine to five while they're working on their big lit you know, doing their own thing, becoming an entrepreneur. So maybe the entrepreneur thing is on the side until it earns them more money or becomes more viable than the nine to five. So she could be missing out. But I think that she's at an age, I believe she's about 30 years old. She's probably thinking that, you know, if a guy is not an entrepreneur by now, if he doesn't have the entrepreneur spirit, then he'll probably never have it if he doesn't have it by 30 years old. Now, being an entrepreneur doesn't mean that you're rich. It just means that you have a boss mentality and you're gonna always be working toward having your own thing, doing your own thing. Being in the business myself, I can tell you that I've experienced relationships where Women did not understand that I had to be out. If I'm out at three or four o'clock in the morning, she might think that I'm messing with some woman. But in all likelihood, 
I'm networking. I'm kicking it in the studio. You know, like being in the entertainment industry, especially music, you can't really just put a time on when you're going to stop working. You know, because your work overlaps. Sometimes you go to the club just to vibe and feel the energy of the crowd. And it gives you ideas to make more music. Sometimes you get in your car and you drive and you just feel the streets. You feel the energy of the streets and that gives you, it kind of like uh, re releases creative juices. So I can see where she's coming from, but I can also see what a nine to five guy might think that you see, She's a gold digger. That's all she worried about is some dude having a whole bunch of money. And that's why she's going to end up in the gutter, hurt, end up with a drug dealer or some killer, uh, a bomb, some dude that, you know, going upside her head or something. So I get it. I understand where they're coming from. But here's the deal. There's a silver lining in all of this. What's for you is for you. So if B. Simone ain't your type, find the one that is. In fact, the one that is will probably find you. That's what happened to me. I was a nine to five dude and I had the same type of thoughts. Like, man, these chicks only want to do with all the money. I don't want to do with the money. The trip part about it is that Oftentimes, the dudes with a lot of money don't have a lot of character. They don't have a lot of integrity. And they're often womanizers. And they treat women bad. But some women will, will sacrifice that integrity or sacrifice being treated well for living well. And in that case, you get what you get. Hold a line, fellas. What's for you is for you. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?